Hello, I'm Michael Davis. Um, I'm going to quickly explain why the, the results of the elections that we had in Spain yesterday are very good for expats living in Spain or foreigners that have invested in Spain, and likewise for expats that are thinking of buying in Spain or retiring to Spain. Okay, so uh, listen carefully and let's just go through why, why I think it's such a good, a good thing. So the yes, what we had yesterday were local elections, that's municipal elections, that's elections to the town halls, but we also had regional ele uh, the regional governments, uh, okay, election of the regional governments. Uh, in this case, not for all the regions of Spain, but for most of them. Now, who governs the region the regions of Spain is extremely important because it's the legislative of the regions that establishes inheritance tax, transfer tax, and wealth tax, okay? So these three taxes are taxes that are very important for expats. So let's start off with the wealth tax. Let's talk about the three competing regions where we handle most of our work, which is the Baleares, the Valencia region, and uh, Andalusia. So in Andalusia, we had a conservative government, and in the Baleares and um, Valencia region, they had basically socialist governments with a couple of other parties uh, thrown in for the ride. And what that has led to is Andalusia having much lower inheritance tax, no wealth tax and uh, lower transfer tax. We've had lots of clients. We do a lot of estate planning and inheritance work, and lots of clients uh, uh, um, were choosing Andalusia over these two other regions uh, because of the lower taxation. And in fact, the difference between inheritance of inheritance tax for some people in the Valencia region and Andalusia was so large that a lot of the estate planning strategy that we put in place basically consisted of people simply selling up in up in the Valencia region, Moraida, Calpedenia, etc., and moving down to. Uh, Andalusia. This was not just for uh, British people, uh, but also uh, Spanish people themselves that would uh, move around because of the inheritance tax situation. Um, so, I mean, it was even so crazy that we've got some, I've got some lawyers uh, that we deal with a lot in the Valencia region, the firm Peyferenedia, if you're listening. Uh, I know this is, gonna, this is a great day for you yesterday. You're probably popping champagne bottles together with your clients because over the, you know, while well, my house and tax was so much lower down here in Angela Thea, literally there were people selling up up there and moving down here, which meant they lost them as clients and we gained them. Uh, so anyway, congratulations to you. I'm going to try and do a little video with you later on. I'm sure you're really happy. So the inheritance tax was a big thing. The difference between inheritance tax in Andalusia and Baleares was not as as large the difference as between uh, Andalusia and Baleares. But it wasn't just inheritance tax. We've got transfer tax. I mean, transfer tax, when you buy property at the beginning, Andalusia, 7%. Uh, Valencia region, 10%. The Baleares, 10%, but even 11% above a certain, certain uh, uh, price range. So, and then we have wealth tax. Uh, Andalusia abolished wealth tax, but in Valencia region and the Baleares, they still had um, they still had wealth tax. So, I mean, that's just great news, I think, for those of you. And for those of you that have done consultations, estate planning consultation, when deciding where to buy in Spain, and we've discussed, you know, the problems in the Valencia region. If you like, perhaps, if you really like the Valencia region over the Andalusia region, it's the time probably to wait and see what happens. Because, I mean, my, my guess is that in the Valencia region and the Baleares, they will start to reduce these taxes and bring them in line with what is happening in Andalusia, because it was just silly to lose all this, <laughs> all this investment uh, uh, in those regions. And I think, I mean, I'd say, you know, I think within a very short period of time, we're going to start seeing them, the, these reductions and bringing them in line with Andalusia. But don't don't hold me accountable. I'm saying that it's highly, highly likely, but not 100% certain. Uh, but I think it will happen. So great news. Now, 
it's not just these taxes that's, that have been affected. The government here in Andalusia, which now it's the same party that's going to rule um, Valencia region and the Baleares, are very pro-investment. So those of you that know how badly, uh, you know, the bad thoughts that I had about this new housing law that the national government came in, brought into effect recently, that um, basically uh, increases the rights of the tenants to a point where, you know, it is going to be much more expensive and take much longer to evict a tenant that is not paying. It also offers a lot of protection to what's called the Ocupa movement, Movimiento Ocupa, which basically is people just move into empty houses and stay there. It's going to be more difficult to get them out. Not impossible, but more difficult. Um, and also they went as far as establishing that in certain regions of Spain where the market they considered had been it was overheated and the prices had gone up too much they were even thinking about um uh, sorry the rentals were going up too much to you know to to limit what the the increase of rentals could be uh and not let people not let the market decide what the prices should be uh and even in the Baleares they went you know to the crazy extent of actually suggesting they should do a moratorium so that foreigners could not buy in properties in certain areas of Ibiza and Mallorca that they could considered now overheated as far as prices i mean that they were just the, the you know the craziness of it and the effect it was going to have on the property market was terrible and that all those possibilities have now uh disappeared for example of the moratorium and they said and regarding the the way the housing the new housing law um is implemented is going to be affected because the regional governments have a a, a bit of a say in how it's implemented because they decide which are the hot spots etc so they are going to try and reduce the bad effects of this new housing law so all in all you know if you're buying a property in spain in general, it's just good news because I think it could be good news for the property market. If you already have a property in Spain, it's uh, great news. If you've got a property in the Valencia region and you're presently sort of considering the, the headache of moving out of Valencia region and moving down to Lucia because of the inheritance tax or even because of things that I've recommended to you, maybe you want to just wait a couple of months and see what the new regional government uh, does because I think you know it could be on the book so they're going to get things uh, changed in a favourable way uh, for you. If you're an investor... Uh, or someone thinking of retiring to Spain, and at the moment you sort of, you know, you've you've consulted on this with us or another firm, uh, and you know you've in the different things that ingredients that you're throwing around to decide on where to buy. You have this, you know, worry of the inheritance tax or the wealth tax, you know, or the higher transfer tax in the region. Again, hey, maybe it's time just to sit back wait a little bit and see it, what these regional governments do before maybe, you know, buying in Andalusia. I think Andalusia is great, but if you, you think about buying Andalusia, simply because of those reasons, maybe just hold back a couple of months and you're going to find out what these new regional governments are going to do um, do up there. So, and if you, you know, if you've already got the property up in the in the Valencia region, and you know, you you were going to stay there, but you have this real big worry about inheritance tax, sit back, wait a little bit, and there may be good news on the horizon. Uh, I hope you found the video useful. Uh, if you did, hit the subscribe button, and uh, thank you for watching.